little dog, small dog there in the backyard. He's under that, under that, uh, that, that patty. He's going to go inside that house, shave his facial hair, change his clothes, and then just pretend to be somebody else. He went that way. Very dangerous situation here where we have no information, but here comes somebody running out the front. Look at this. Look at this. A conference. Oh, Jesus. Inside the house, a family home. <laughs> oh, they're beating his ass! Oh my goodness, look at this. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He, he just he just got in that truck. There's a dog under that truck. Oh, the guy's got a knife on him. Look at this. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Look at this. He had it. He had him. Oh, the guy's got a knife on him. Look at this. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa! Oh my goodness! He he had it. He had him. And then he gets his fucking truck stolen. So they throw a couple punches, and then she's holding him back for some reason. So yeah, if he actually did take action and like stab him or something, he could have gone to jail. Never mind. Are they gonna pay for the truck though, like the city? But look at him, a little bit of traffic, and once again, right through another gas station. This is just incredible. This is the third vehicle that he has stolen today. That's a pretty good a pretty good record for one day's work. Three thefts and a, so far a 25-minute chase. I mean, well, that's a full day. Get themselves in a position where they can bring this to an end if they can figure that out. And then uh, there's going to be... How did he have that much time in the house? The cops weren't far away. He ran here, and the cops chased him in cars. Are they not being fed the information that we're seeing? Because we saw him go through one house and then into another, and he stayed there for like a good two minutes, maybe? And then went out the front door, I'm guessing stole the keys while he's in the house, got into a fight with the homeowners, and then took the car without a single officer being nearby. Like, I feel like that's plenty of time because the cops were right behind him. Like, you can see them go by right here. They are right here. And he ran through this, slipped, turned around, and then ran through those two houses. Is there, there must be like some red tape that the cops weren't able to like get over there. Like maybe they, I was joking, but maybe they like legitimately did need a warrant to even be around the area. I, I don't know. Man, this is so fucking sad. This is that guy's work vehicle. Fuck, that sucks, man. Like, the guy is, like, he's he's a talented driver, and, like, the chase is wild, but I feel so fucking bad for all the victims in here. What a shame. Shit, yikes. Yeah, he was pissed in the interview. Oh, they interviewed him? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, he had every right to be pissed. Christ. How did this start? Apparently, he ran from a traffic stop. Or, no, is that what they said at the beginning? Fuck, it's already been so long now, this chase has been going on. Yeah, I, mean, I think it was. Look at this. Over the again, he got stopped. Way. I think he had stolen a vehicle, got stopped, and then sped out. He's also so lucky every driver right now is very attentive. The drivers are pulling out of his way and stopping when he's going through the, the red lights. He is so lucky the drivers around him are actually decent. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is making California drivers look good. Not him in particular, I'm talking about, like, the people on the road. They're able to recognize when he's coming, like, they must see him behind them, because they're actually pulling out of the way to avoid any kind of collision with them. And when he's going through the red light intersections, they are stopping. So they see him before he gets there somehow, and they're, they're reacting well. So, yeah, the California drivers, I mean, they're copping a W right now. They're looking pretty strong. If this was Florida, this man would have got hit, he would have got hit nine times already. He probably would have got hit in the parking spot back at the townhomes. See, like, look at that. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, they are able to recognize this. Like, they're actually paying a ton of attention to their surroundings here. Or that was just a crazy coincidence from this guy. <laughs> now, now he can't shake him. It's like a Talladega Knights shake and bake situation. Dude's fucking <laughs> catching his draft. It's unbelievable. Get back on the freeway. He is on Sorensen Avenue. I feel like he has no fucking clue where he is right now. There is no rhyme or reason to his driving here. Eastbound Slauson, and for some reason, and, and he hasn't done this very often, but for some reason, he just turned around, very randomly turned around, 
back towards the freeway, and I think, I wonder, my gut tells me he's looking for an entrance ramp. A close call there. Another there are so many people that have seen, uh, have, like, been around this now. Like, I, I, I cannot imagine what seeing this must have been like, and then going home and being like, wow, I was a part of this. That Camry that he passes at minute 31, that was me. That must be so fucking crazy. Try to apprehend this suspect at various points, uh, but he has done a masterful job. Oh my god, the editing here is also second to none. Real time. Oh man, they got another department on him? Fuck, I have to pee so bad. We- <laughs> Oh my god! We're only 34 minutes in. How? How? What the fuck? Like, I knew it was an hour 40, but it doesn't really register how long that is until you are actually, like, in the thick of it. That is absurd. And I think this is a shopping center at, uh, What the fuck is the plan here? What? People walking through this parking lot. He's Surely I'll lose them in the parking lot. Way through this parking lot, a very busy parking lot. It's that super duty? Maybe. What's that? What's happening? Oh my god, he deployed an EMP. Holy shit. Looks like he's found himself at a dead end. He's at a dead end at the end of all the This is a great opportunity for the for the officers here. Black and whites waiting for him on the other side here. Let's widen now just a little bit, Rob. See what's waiting for him as he comes out the other end of the We shouldn't have widened it. That just that that just Oh god. Oh my god. Where are they? Back on the Beverly Boulevard, southbound Beverly Boulevard, here in San And no law enforcement in sight, guys. He is slowing down a little bit. Yeah, go ahead, Giovanna. Did he wait out the wanted level already? Like, what in the world? Even he's like, oh, you know, maybe I'm just good. I'll just wait, I'll just hang out. There's, there's, literally, they're nowhere near him. I had, you know what, big W to the announcer here. I can't hear the other end of the guy talking, but I'm assuming he was trying to say, like, the, the cop strategy is to maybe, like, cool down the scene, uh, keep an eye on him so that way, like, as he slows down and things settle down, then they'll swoop in. I completely agree with the announcer. This is an absolute maniac. He's already hit, like, 20 cars, broken into two houses, stole a man's car, well, stolen two cars, but stole a man's car in front of him, nearly ran over his dog. This is a guy that they absolutely should swarm to get off the streets as quickly as possible. I completely agree with the announcer. Th this guy is a very big danger to everyone on the road right now. Imagine seeing that light from your car, thinking the rapture is fucking happening. Yeah, that light is so bright. If that shined on me when I was driving, I'd be panicking. I'd be like, my dad was right all along. There really are aliens that visit this planet. Okay, okay, there they are. They're intercepting. Oh, fuck, holy shit. There we go. Try. 
Now my coordinates are really not the best. Okay. Five for ten treasure. Nice. <laughs> Okay, let's not die. I need like backup blocks. No, I don't. I don't need backup blocks. Dude, I have like everything. I'm set. Where did I throw that? Yeah, we're fine anyway. Whatever, I'm just blind here. A high wall. If I blinded in the bash and I could have gotten sub 10, but like, who cares? We care about good pace, we don't care about stupid blind cords. Okay, ocean. That's good, right? You want ocean? Oh my god, village. Please point towards the ocean. Do I have a bow? I. That, that's kind of ocean, I guess. Break! I'm gonna hug this coast. Oh my god. You gonna throw another eye? Just to make sure the distance. I'm scared it might be like here. Okay, that's an angle change. Please be exposed. I should like see it.
should just see it, right? It's not exposed? What the hell? How? It's barely not exposed, whatever. Like, imagine losing sub 15 to that. Big L. Technically, still could. Technically. I mean, if the, it was, if it was, if it's really good, but it still could PB. Where I basically need like an instant approach for sub 15, which is probably not gonna happen. Insta purge! It didn't. Disappointment. Still could PB though. You don't sleep in the end. It's not good for your health. Please push on that? Okay. This is PB. What is that, man? <laughs> what is that? What is that, dude? That's actually so average. It's the most average thing. Yeah, surely that purchase. Oh my god. You're actually kidding.
like most normal freaking run. I can't place my bed because an Enderman is in the way. Surely they purchase off of that. After four explosives. That's actually normal. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 